getting accepted to study a master's program in a university abroad can be a life-changing moment. So why would you then let the process be handled by someone who has absolutely nothing to lose? Just think about it. Whether you get accepted or rejected, the agent still gets paid either way. Today's video has been inspired by an issue that has been on the rise of late, and that is how some international students are being taken advantage of by money-hungry agents or consultants who claim that they can help you to quickly move and study abroad, but in reality, they are just in it for the money. Take Lisa for example. She's a Kenyan student who sent me a DM on Instagram a couple of months back, and this is what she had to say. I have had intentions of applying to Germany for masters, but I don't have the German language at hand. The agent told me we do private schools since. They teach in English. She went ahead and told me the application fees to the private school is 17,500 euros. My question is, suppose I paid the application fees and missed to be given an offer by the school. What should I do? Lisa's story isn't the only one out there. I always come across absolute horror stories on social media of how these greedy agents try to take advantage of innocent students. And unfortunately, the reality is a lot of them actually do succeed. So today's video is quite simple. We'll further break down and analyze Lisa's story to understand where the major issues are. And we will talk a bit more about why you should try as much as possible to avoid using these agents in the first place. Also, in the next video, I will give a comprehensive step-by-step -step plan that you can immediately start to implement and in 6 to 12 months time, you can be studying in Germany without requiring the help of an agent. Let's get started. To be honest, when I first read this DM from Lisa, I was in complete shock and this was my immediate response. Hello, do you know, okay, currently I am climbing stairs and I almost fell when I read 17,000 euros. Oh my goodness. Um, I personally didn't have to pay any agent in order to apply to universities in Germany. I did everything by myself and I didn't require to pay any agent. Sorry, I'm out of my I'm out of breath. Um I've just climbed five flights of stairs. Let me take a breather and then I'll continue with this voice note. Much much later. So my first question is how comes once the agent realized that Lisa doesn't speak German her immediate suggestion was for Lisa to go and apply to a private university where she would need to pay 17,500 euros in application and tuition fees. Like, seriously, what the f- What, what? what did he say? Hey. Oh. There is so much wrong with this situation because Multiple master's programs taught in German universities are either fully or partially taught in English and there are no requirements for students to even learn basic German before applying. To make things worse, there are still so many tuition-free universities in Germany to choose from. Please note that on top of the 17,500 euro asked by the agent, Lisa would still need to fund her blocked account with an additional 11,904 euros. It just goes to show that this particular agent wasn't acting in the best interest of the student. My guess is that the agent or the agency already had an agreement with this particular university where for every student they bring, the agent or the agency gets a commission which most of the time is anywhere between 2 and 15% of the annual fee paid. Now, 
I don't have an issue with agents or agencies making money through commissions, but I think when someone wants to study abroad and decides to use an agent, they most of the time put themselves at a serious disadvantage and they end up getting the short end of the stick. I will explain exactly what I mean in the next segment, but if you've made it this far into the video, a like and a sub to the channel would really be appreciated as it helps small channels like this one get pushed to larger audiences which helps to grow the channel. Also, if you've had any experiences dealing with these agents or agencies before, whether positive or negative, kindly let me know in the comment section down below. Agencies are privately owned businesses whose aim is to make as much profit as possible. So the moment you go to them for consultation, they will most of the time only show you options from universities they are affiliated with in order to make more money. Like in Lisa's case, she was immediately directed to a costly private university even though there are multiple tuition-free institutions throughout Germany that teach in English. So the big question is, how will you be able to make the best decision regarding where to pursue your master's program if you aren't shown all the options available before making this crucial life-changing decision? In a lot of cases, on top of the commissions agents get from universities, some actually do charge students additional agent fees for their services. By avoiding agents altogether and doing everything by yourself, you are literally saving a significant amount of money that can be used for more important costs later on. As you go through the process of applying for master's programs by yourself, you get to fully understand what the programs are all about, what they offer, and most importantly, you get to check and compare whether a particular course meets your own standards or reasons for choosing to pursue a master's program in the first place. So, for example, in Germany, we have technical universities and universities of applied sciences two very different types of institutions that sometimes offer similar master's programs. Therefore, an agent could easily suggest one institution because it is easier for them to get you an admission, but in reality, you could better fit into the other type of institution, but you wouldn't know it. Keep in mind that some of these courses may require you to take part in an online video interview and because you didn't conduct adequate research by yourself about the course, the university or the country the university is located in, you may end up struggling to answer some of these questions during the interview. Getting accepted to study a master's program in a university abroad can be a life-changing moment. So why would you then let the process be handled by someone who has absolutely nothing to lose? Just think about it. Whether you get accepted or rejected, the agent still gets paid either way. Handling your own application allows you to maintain full control over every detail ensuring that all the information is accurate and your application truly represents you. Also, keep in mind that not all agents are equally knowledgeable. There is always a risk of encountering subpar agents who might provide incorrect information or unhelpful advice. Before we get into the step-by-step -step comprehensive plan that I promised I would give earlier in this video, I just wanted to give a quick little update. In the last video I posted, I said this. I feel I need to step up both the quantity and the quality of the content on this channel. One way I propose to do that is by implementing a live stream at least once a week 
That way, if anyone has any questions they would like to ask about living, studying, and working in Germany, can do it in real time. So, on the 10th of August, I will host the first live stream session from 3.30 p.m. German time on this channel and also on the streaming platform Twitch. We will also have a watch along stream of the FA Community Shield match between Manchester City and Manchester United from 4 p.m. Germany time. So if you have time and you have any questions that you'd like to ask, or maybe you're just a football fan, come through and chill with us for a couple of hours.